If you just clamp one end of a tube and rotate the other, you very quickly run out of flexibility. When one end rotates, the other end also needs to rotate in the same direction. If the tube is flexible enough to form a U, then it can still be rotated, but when the ends are brought together, notice that they're actually rotating in opposite directions. If we form the tube so that both ends are on the same vertical axis, it naturally bends to form the inverted question mark. Now stop the rotation. Of course, because the ends share a common axis, they can now both be rotated in the same direction, the whole tube revolving in one piece. But we've already seen that with this shape, we can rotate the two ends in opposite directions. So, if we gradually introduce this form of rotation as well, with the top rotating in the opposite direction to the existing rotation, then eventually the top will become stationary and the bottom end will rotate twice as fast. Of course, the question mark continues to revolve at the same speed, half that of the bottom end.